initially just explain what this is uh, to, to, to lay people, if you will. We're trying to understand. Well, if you're like me, okay. uh, you would really learn, like to learn to play a musical instrument like piano, okay. but you really don't have the time to do the practice. And wouldn't it be great if you could actually rehearse uh, songs you want to learn without paying attention to them? Okay. And we've discovered this effect called passive haptic learning, uh, where it seems like it's actually possible to do that. So we made this glove, we call it the mobile music touch. And what it is is a wireless device that hooks into your cell phone or laptop. Right. And so while you're reading email or watching a video or you know, doing whatever you normally would do, the, uh, the uh, system plays the song you want to learn. In this case, we're doing Amazing Grace. And as each note is played, uh, vibrators in the uh, fingerless glove vibrate to tap the finger that corresponds to that note on the piano. So what's really amazing about this, in about a half an hour, you'll be able to learn sort of the muscle memory of how to play the Wait song. Wait a minute now. You're telling me all I gotta do is put on a couple gloves and you play a song for me for a half hour or an hour and I can go put on a, uh, a concert somewhere? Well, I'm not sure about a concert, okay. but you can certainly <laughs> pick it out pretty much easily uh, uh, than you could before. And it seems to work not only just for learning a new song, but also for rehearsal. So, you know, if you're a musician and you have problems with repetitive stress injuries, uh, you can actually have the gloves sort of give you that muscle memory, that feeling of the song, and then you concentrate on the expressiveness. Now, is someone using this for that application yet? You all just developed this. It's not in use. Nobody's using it just yet. Is well, that right? we've done it for we've done four studies on it. So okay. We really know this effect works uh, pretty well. And as you can see, the the, the system is relatively small. You can run it off a, a normal cell phone with a Bluetooth connection. So we're not there yet. We're still in the laboratory. But one of the things that we've really got excited about is not just you know learning it for uh, having. Uh, people learn it for playing mm -hmm. music, but also for rehabilitation. So let me introduce yes. Major Tanya Marco here, who's, this is her PhD work, okay. and she's doing some uh, work now on rehabilitation. I'll That's let, I'll let her some interesting it. work, yes, because a lot of people would love to be able to play uh, instruments, but you're talking about other applications. Yes, sir. Um, what we're looking at is using it as a form of hand rehabilitation. So we're currently working with people who are designated as quadriplegics, which means due to a break in the neck, mm. they've lost the ability to use, some ability to use the four limbs. Uh, what we've done is work with a few folks and they've tried the glove. One thing that's really neat about it is they get to play the piano, which is actually a form of rehab in and of itself because you're doing some fine, dexterous movements with the hand. But we've had some interesting comments about the vibration that it uh, tended to kind of remind them of where their fingers were because wow. many of these people have lost the ability to sense with their hands. So if they touch an object, they don't get that feedback of actually touching something. So we're trying to improve their ability to uh, perceive with their hands and also their ability to use their hands, those fine motor skills. Well, that, okay, wow, that is amazing, uh, an application there. Uh, I'm certainly amazed as well that you could put a glove on and 30 minutes later <laughs> be able to play the song. Chad has had this glove on for how long now? <laughs> About 45 minutes. About 45 minutes. What was the song? Well, he, this is what the song would have sounded like. Okay, <laughs> that's that, the before. That, that, that is my musical repertoire. Okay? okay, that's how good I can do it. So he's had the glove on for 45 minutes. And, and what it, was the song, it, by the way? It's Beethoven. Oh, 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 this ought to be good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Ted. Okay, this thing buzzed, <laughs> and, and all I did, all I did was I played on my mouse. Okay, I did my little hurricane You're doing stuff. <laughs> did my hurricane stuff, and it was buzzing on my finger. You were working. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Now, do you have any talent, a background in music, ever played the piano? <laughs> and That's you didn't it. know that song, Never. correct? No, I, no, I've heard it, but I wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't know what fingers to use. And I always thought I had to go back and forth. No, I was hoping for like this Liberace piano. <laughs> yeah. Watch, that watch, is watch. clearly proof that it, this it, thing It works. just buzzed. Middle, middle, up, down, 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 down. But Okay, you guys are going to eliminate the need for piano teachers. Aren't you? Uh, I don't think I don't think so. There's still a lot of use, uh, subtleties, subtleties right. so that to express this and, this and stuff. You really got to practice with a teacher, but at least this gets you over the hurdle of initial That's learning. And what's great with the the the, the uh, folks at Shepherd Center is that you know uh, you're not just rehabbing your hands; you're learning a new skill set. So that well, really get, yeah. motivates people to do it.